don't let this go to trial. I want a confession by midnight. She never drank at home. She only smokes when she drinks. That's why you never found an ashtray in our apartment. She claimed she quit. Laura Davis was a bitch, and I'm glad she's dead. She was my best friend. I miss her already. I never killed her. Why the hell am I here? I'm a harmless teddy bear. I won't harm a ma. I swear, I heard someone with noisy boots running away from the crime scene. That doesn't help us very much. You can say that again. What the hell is this guy talking about? Where were you at 5.37 a.m. on January 31st? I was at home, watching So You Think You Can Dance. It's my favorite show. What were you doing up so early, or should I say, so late, Mr. Smith? I had a tough time getting to sleep that night. Something didn't feel right. One of those gut feelings, I bet. Yeah, one of those gut feelings. Did Nora have any enemies? No, of course not. She was a beautiful human being. That woman was a saint. A saint with a big wallet, or should I say a fistful of dollars? What the hell is this guy talking about? Nora Davis emptied all of her bank accounts and requested cash. I had no idea she did that. Listen, Desi, I want to catch this murderer more than anything right now. As far as I'm concerned, everyone is a suspect. Even you? You're damn right. That's Mr. J. Roll Little Light to you, Detective. Where were you at 5.30 a.m. on Friday, January 31st? I was sleeping. Where the hell do you think I was? We know you did it. We found blood all over your shoes. And we have an eyewitness that has placed you at the scene of the crime. That's crap. Last night I had this meeting with this pimp. He was a slick, smooth-talking type. Apparently he was working at a meat shop and got blood all over his shoes. That does not explain the blood on your shoes, Mr. Little Light. That's Mr. J. Roll Little Light to you, Detective. That pimp's shoes tracked all over the floor. It was a bloody mess. You didn't get along with the victim at all, did you, J. Roll? Laura Davis was a bitch, and I'm glad she's dead. She ripped out my heart and ran it over with a truck. She does have a nice truck. Detective, please. We got work to do. Hey, tune tap. What? Don't worry about it. I was at home, making love to my man. I want to work with you. That's what they always say. Who are they? Creeps like you. Where were you at 5 37 a.m. on Friday, January 31st? I was at home making love to my man. You make love that early. Don't you? Well, I try to, but just because you're a best friend doesn't mean you're off the hook. <laughs> Shut up, you jerk. She was my best friend. I miss her already. Where was she from? About two blocks from her apartment, along the chain link fence. She deserved better. As far as I'm concerned, we're gonna put this devil away forever. Well, I hope you do. I'm sorry she's dead, but I didn't do a damn thing. I never killed her. Why the hell am I here? We're not saying anything like that, but you did threaten to choke slam our victim? You're one of our prime suspects. You're known to be one of the enemies of Nora Davis. Doesn't mean I killed that witch. I'm sorry she's dead, but I didn't do a damn thing. You, my friend, are guilty as hell. Why do you say that? This is serious stuff. We need you full cooperation. I thought I was just making a statement. Under these conditions, when murder is the case that they gave me, everyone is a suspect. We may have to body cavity search man. So you better tell the truth. The killer must have had boots, because I swear I heard boots. Right. I swear! I heard someone with noisy boots running away from the crime scene. That doesn't help us very much. You can say that again. Whatever. You guys are clueless. I'm a very loving person. Now 
you seem like a cold, hard killer. I'm a harmless teddy bear. I won't harm a ma. Do you mean fly? No, I mean a ma. I love those little buggers. I'm a very loving person. Wait. Don't you work here? Yeah! I'm just curious to see what you guys are doing. <laughs> Get out of here, buddy. Serious police business, homie. I'm sorry, sir. It won't happen again. What are you doing here, sir? I'm concerned you're barking up the wrong tree, detective. We got it all under control, sir. I'm pretty sure we'll have the place closed by morning. Don't let this go to trial. I want a confession by midnight. Oh, I'm sure we'll have that. Have more than a confession by then. Good. By the way, how is the victim doing? Sir, that's irrelevant right now. We're just focused on putting someone in the, in the slammer. Okay. Do it. Just call me. Meet what? We're charging you with the murder of Nora Davis. Do you want us to read your rights? No, I did not kill that insipid airhead. I told you where I was, so back off. Mr. J. Rowe Little Light. Too bad. Too bad. Excuse me, detectives. Sir? What are you doing here? Somebody confessed to the murder. Case closed. Just. Isn't it great? Call me, me what? Just call me, me what? I admit it. I killed Nora. Wait, that's some shit. You can say that again. I was in love with her, but I couldn't have her. She was in love with this terrible dude. I think he was a stockbroker or something. Did you ever consider killing him? You psycho. Hell yes. I would have loved to break his neck. Temper, temper, Desi. Yes, temper, temper, indeed. When a killer is on the loose, one can only assume that he or she will strike again. So what it all comes down to is this. How well can one interrogate a suspect? I'm the best in the business. Consider this another great triumph for Detective Rocky. Saskatoon. Hey, where are you going? Oh yeah, Nora survived. She somehow managed to crawl away from the chain link fence and get help. Who needs those CSI posers when you've got me? Ah.